Hey guys, Josh here, Fortner Frontier Leather. So as y'all know, uh, here we're not just about leather work. The real goal of everything is to promote self-reliance in our society. Um, and a big part of self-reliance is self-defense, being able to protect yourself and your family. So on that note, today I was on my way home from work and I stopped by the gas station. I had to get some things and I don't walk very, I don't walk loud. I walk really quiet, um, not intentional. I just, I don't drag my feet and, you know, things like that. So I walk in the door. Uh, I shut the door behind me. The bell doesn't even jingle because I'm not like busting up in there. Um, and I walk by the counter. The cashier is standing there at the counter. And she's looking down at something. So I walk past her. Uh, she doesn't look up. I look around. There's nobody, nobody else in there. Um, I walk back down the aisle, get myself something to drink, get something off the shelf. Uh, I can't remember what, but I come back up to the counter and I say, Hey, how's it going? She's, Oh my goodness. I didn't even see you there. You scared me to death. And, uh, I said, you didn't even hear me walk in. She's like, no. I said, you didn't even know I was in the store. And she said, no, I didn't. I said, well, that's kind of dangerous. She says, I know I just can't hear very well. Um, no, you don't, you don't pay attention. A lot of people don't pay attention. Um, and I don't know, but maybe people just don't think about paying attention. Uh, but that is dangerous. And um, we need to, to, you need to pay more attention to what's going around you, uh, going on around you. Um, you know, you go out in town, you go to Walmart or whatever, and you see people just buried in their phones or, or they're so, um, I don't know, it's like people can't see past, I don't know, they're, you know, they have this bubble around them and they can't see outside of. I've seen people run into the end caps on the aisles uh, because they're looking at their phones. I've seen people run into each other. Uh, people have no idea what's going on around them. And that, that's a very dangerous thing. You know, you don't want to be a victim. Pay attention to what's going on around you. And, you know, when somebody's acting um, strange, you know, just take note of that. And, uh, you know, you'll, you'll know, you know, when people will... There'll be a certain baseline in any area that you're at. Um, you know, people will be moving at a certain pace, uh, acting a certain way, and you you know that you'll notice things um, or people that are acting out of the ordinary, acting out of that baseline. Uh, if you're paying attention, it's it's not difficult. It's just um, you know just keep an eye on what's going on around you. Um, but I just wanted to kind of make that point and. Uh, just encourage everybody to be more self-reliant and practice, uh, you know, better situational awareness. Uh, don't be a victim. Um, you know, we also see, I've, you know, we've seen these videos of these people that end up in the middle of these protests and they're, they're trapped in their car and people are busting their windows out and stuff. And I wonder how they even got there in the first place, you know. Uh, don't go into situations like that. Um, and you, you don't have to worry about being in a bad situation if you don't put yourself in one in the first place. That's the best uh, defense. Uh, just don't get in that position. Um, but the only way to do that is to pay attention and know what's going on around you. And we will talk more about uh, situational awareness in a future video. Uh, just I just want to make this quick point right now. And there's other things I want to touch on on that. But keep your head on a swivel. Don't be paranoid. Just pay attention. Keep your head up and... Pay attention to what's going on around you.